Hey, what's up, guys? We are spotlighting the Moonlight Sun Points again and going over a little bit what's going on here. Some people are like, well, hey, the price jumped and then it dropped way back down, and that's expected. The reason the price jumped up is because the initial hype of the boxes were going away. The Divine Gift boxes went away. So, like, as soon as that announcement happened and as soon as that actually happened when it went gone, you saw big price jumps in the value of the Moon Point Sun Points because you couldn't get them anymore. But slowly, the prices have now crept back down to kind of where they were. So on this server, we're on uh, Taiyang right now. The prices are around 8 gold for the Moon Point. And the Sun Point has stayed roughly around 20 gold. So Sun Point hasn't really dropped any. And the reasons they haven't dropped is because they're going to become way more valuable in the coming days. Uh, Secrets of Aeonod comes out the 10th, which is... What is that? The Tuesday? Next Tuesday? So it comes out very, very soon. You're going to have um, Obsidian Weapons, and you're going to want to regrade those guys. Weapon drops the Sun Points, the Weapon Regrades. Those are a lot scarcer than the Moon ones. They also didn't drop as commonly out of the, the Divine Gifts. So there wasn't as many in supply and circulation in the world, and the prices are slowly creeping up. Um, they took a little dip somewhat because as i said the initial hype of everyone's buying them up and then now people are like oh damn i need money i need to sell them so they have all this excess sun point slash moon points and they're like damn the price didn't go up but i need to sell and so then they're putting them on the auction house one by one everyone that you know needs money right away are like damn i want you know i want to sell and they're bringing the price slowly back down no one else besides those investors were buying them the people that are regrading aren't really regrading right now because there's no new weapons or armor to regrade yet. The price jump on these guys will be slowly and surely when the obsidian weapons start coming into the game and people start to use up their surplus of sun points. The moon points, on the other hand, there's not really much new armor coming into the game. So the price points on these, I told you, would probably be at the highest and you definitely want to sell around, I think it was 20, uh, like 17 and 20. So... Like right around there, that's like the highest. And you can see you can still buy them right now, but there's a lot of them in circulation. People have actually stacks upon stacks of these guys. So the amount of time that it's going to take for these to recover, go up higher, and gain more value, it's going to take some time. Plus, again, there is no new flashy, amazing armor coming into the game that everyone wants and everyone has to regrade. Um, so really, the moon points are just for the old stuff that you already have. And with the Archeum really not dropping as plentiful as we'd like it, there isn't going to be that much new armor crafting going on. There will be a little bit here and there. Of course, there's going to be some, some new players coming into the game, some returning players coming into the game. But Moon Points won't see any dramatic increase in price, and there's a whole bunch of them. So it's going to be the same scenario that happened with the Crest Brainstorms. So people may remember that from, what, three months ago now? So Crest Brainstorms, exact same thing happens. It's it's trends, it's market trends that happen. When they were plentiful out on the market, there was a cash shop box, the the rumbling Archeum tree cash shop box. They were down to like one gold, two gold each. People bought them up because it was a smart investment. I, I told people it was a good buy. They bought them up, and then they rose the price to like say four or five gold on some auction house clusters. And then people got angry because the prices started to drop back down. Like, the prices, they don't change overnight. Contrary to what people may want to tell you, prices really don't change overnight unless there's something dramatic like Tryon introducing, uh, you know, Thunderstruck trees for sale in the cash shop, whereas before they were all RNG. That's the only time prices dramatically change. When prices, like, steadily start growing, it's because supply is outweigh or demand is out outweighing supply and that's what's happening now there is after a few months the crest brainstorm supply has dried up there is very little new if any new crest brainstorms coming into the game and you can see now they're currently at around nine gold ten gold or so on here and there's only a total of like 20 on the auction house so you can sell a couple of your crest brainstorms for you know nine gold ten gold somewhere around there you just list them on the auction house. It was just a waiting game. The same thing will eventually happen to the moon points. The moon points 
probably won't get that much higher than say 20 gold but eventually the moon points will get higher if you if your moon points ever spike for any crazy reason up to say 20 gold you're probably going to want to go ahead and sell some of them especially if you have 100 or 200 moon points or sun points so every time i saw crest brainstorms that went up to like say 10 15 gold i started to sell a couple i still have around 100 or so of these crest brainstorms on my characters it's hard to sell hundreds upon hundreds of a specific item so that's why i didn't buy thousands upon thousands of them but i bought like say 200 300 of them and every time it rises up i put a couple up there test the water to see they sell i've sold some as high as like 17 gold on an auction house cluster sure it's dropped back down to like nine or ten but yeah i have sold some that high i've sold some for 15 sold some for 14 quite a bit around there the same thing will happen with the moon points right now there is an excess supply no one is really regrading there's very few people actually even playing on the live servers which means they're not buying things they're not you know generating that much money the economy is kind of at a standstill most players are on the public test server testing things out the public test server is going down on the 8th so in two days i believe then you'll see a more influx of, of players going back to the live servers anticipating the aurorian launch or diamond shores launch level 55 they might be doing some more investing so right around there you might see a price jump in the moon points because people might want to stock up on them a little bit but yeah there shouldn't be any major jumps in prices right away you're gonna wait probably probably a month or so before you start see some some real movement in the moon points uh, it takes a lot of time for the amount of supply to dry up the divine guest was out here for uh, about a month so that's a lot of free moon points that were generated into the game but as you can see with the sun points the sun points have dried up some the prices have jumped up a little bit from where they were when the gifts were starting to come out and with where the gifts were coming out so it may not have been a huge major jump yet but people are anticipating obsidian weapons when obsidian weapons hit they are going to be regretted this is cheap you can do a couple trade runs to get 20 gold you can also get really lucky in the library and get some uh, archaeum essences and if you do you can make a lot of gold there you can also farm jester coin purses to make a lot of gold that way so these are cheap people are going to upgrade they're going to want to try and get you know epic divine obsidian weapons and there's not that many even on the auction house you can see we're like three pages that's it so if someone who comes up here with say a thousand gold he can buy up every single sun point up into like yeah a thousand gold he can pretty much buy every sun point on the auction house he might stop right here but yeah a thousand gold is all it would take for someone to come up and buy everything here the only thing now that we have that is going to be a resistant is they just add in the into the loyalty store they added the sun points these guys are 10 loyalty tokens it isn't live yet it will happen on the 10th when the secrets of a and i'd comes out level 55 patch but the problem with that is they also added the lucky sun points these are 100 loyalty tokens and these are 10. so you can see there's a difference there they're saying that the lucky sun point should be worth 10 times more than the sun points currently the lucky sun points are worth a hundred times more than the sun points so there's gonna be some change that this price should drop pretty significantly it shouldn't be 2,000 gold I'm thinking it probably be roughly around a thousand gold so if a hundred loyalty tokens is worth a thousand gold no one in their right mind would spend 10 loyalty tokens to get a 25 gold item like the sun point it's just not worth it at all no one would do that they're all going to save up to try and sell the lucky sun points which means these prices are going to rise so you're going to see a rise in sun points and a decrease in lucky sun points thanks to the loyalty store we don't know exactly how low the lucky sun points will go again 100 loyalty token is quite a bit but there are a couple players that are on both servers you know eu and us so they have loyalty tokens just kind of sitting around they're the ones that are probably going to be buying these guys for sure save it up their loyalty tokens use them to sell so they can buy apex so they can get free patron status and again like it makes 
and no sense in the world that in the world any world there is if you can sell a lucky sun point for a thousand gold and it only costs a hundred loyalty tokens that's 20 days of logging in as a patron that apex should be this cheap apex is like 300 ish gold so two apexes is one month of patron status which means you get 150 loyalty tokens if you can use a hundred loyalty tokens to buy apex there's something seriously wrong because apex is really really cheap uh you know one month of patrons that should not be able to generate you two or three months just passively just by logging into the game it should not be able to so you're going to have some correction here apex prices are either going to rise or the lucky sun points are going to drop really really hard uh we don't know what's going to happen exactly i think kind of both i think lucky sun points are going to drop down to like a thousand and i think apex is going to rise pretty quickly in the coming days probably back up to like 500 or so and then it should just keep rising up as long as lucky sun points is that high apex should go up pretty quickly in my opinion there